in ms excel we have a functionality called scenario manager we can say a scenario manager is set of multiple input values and related calculated values so we can use scenario manager in ms excel when we have a situation wherein input values are changing and making impact over final output so let's understand scenario manager with the help of one example so let's assume or say that i am currently working in delhi location and my monthly salary is 40000 i am spending different amounts for different requirements and my total monthly expense is this much and total saving is this that is 2000 now my company has offices at multiple locations so if i work from some other location then what will be the impact that i want to compare with the help of different scenarios or scenario manager so the first step is that i will select all the cells where values can be changed so let me select 40000 then with the help of control and mouse button i will select from 15000 to restaurant expense i am not selecting total expense and total saving why because these two cells are calculated cells so i have selected these cells then i will go to data tab where we have what if analysis if i click on this small triangle we can see that we have a option called scenario manager so if i click on scenario manager i am getting this window as of now there is no scenario so what i will do i will click on add and i will give name to this scenario as working location delhi in changing cells we can see that c4 and c6 to c12 are selected in comment i can write anything i will write like uh, this scenario is for delhi location i will click on okay and here we can see that c4 has 40000 c6 has 15000 c7 has 3000 but this is a bit complex to understand that what c4 contains we can see on excel sheet it is monthly salary but here if we have multiple factors or multiple types of factors then it becomes a bit complex for us so here as of now i will press okay and we can see that one scenario has been created with the name working location delhi now i will click on close at this point and as a next step what i will do for this 40000 i want to give name to this cell as monthly salary so how i can do that i will select 40000 this cell c4 and then in name box i will write as monthly underscore salary press enter now if i click anywhere but in this name box if i select monthly salary then we can see that this is referring to c4 in the same manner i want to give name to this 15000 as grocery this cell as utilities this cell as rent this cell as telecom so i have to do this same activity multiple times but there is a quick way how we can use that i will select these cells then i will go to formula and here in naming manager i can see create from selection so uh, i can see that there is already a check for left column so what will happen on the left column if we have grocery written so grocery name will be given to the cell that has 15000 value in the same way this will give name to each cell whatever is there towards left column i will press okay 
and now we can check if I select movies this is referring to this cell that contains 1000 so let me give name by using the naming manager again for these two cells oh. so for these two cells what I will select I will select these four cells I am already on formula tab create from selection then left column checkbox is already selected I will press ok now what we have done is we have given name to each cell my next task is I will select anywhere then go to data and go to what if analysis click on scenario manager then I will click on add this time I want to create a scenario for let's say Mumbai location so I will say working location Mumbai cells are same let me write comment like uh, this scenario is Mumbai location I will press OK and here we can see 40,000 is same if I work from Mumbai maybe for grocery I will have different amount let's say 16,000 utilities or house rent maybe I will increase as 14,000 if we want to make changes in any other cell then we can do or I will press OK so now we have two scenarios let me add one more scenario by clicking on add and here I will give name as uh, let's say working location Chennai cells are same here I will say this scenario is for Chennai location press ok this time for grocery I will say it is very less let's say in Chennai then I will press or I will type 6000 for utility same house rent maybe I will reduce I will decrease to 8000 only some other expenses I want to make changes let's say in education I will give value as 3500 only restaurant let's say 500 and I'll press ok so what we have done we have created three scenarios by changing values now at this point if I click on daily and I press show then all the values are same if I press Mumbai and I click on show then this is changing values now according to the values that we have given in scenario total saving is coming in negative let me click on Chennai and click on show so here we have total saving as 16,000 and expenses 24,000 all basis on what we have given while adding scenarios now for all these three scenarios I want to see comparative analysis so what I will do I will press on summary here C15 comma C14 so I am considering these two cells total expense and total saving values are in C14 and C15 if I press OK then we are getting automatically the scenario summary so we can see here whatever we enter for working location daily scenario we have these values total saving is 2000 expenses are 38000 for Mumbai these are the expenses we are in negative 1000 rupees expenses are 41000 so this is how we can make utilization of scenario manager functionality and we can do comparative analysis by changing values in different scenario here we have minus sign if we I click on minus here also and this 
now we can expand this as per our requirement so this is how we have seen that utility of scenario manager and there could be any situation that we want to analyze with the help of scenario manager thank you for watching this video if you like this please subscribe to my channel for additional videos or new things in excel